Fricatives are a class of consonant sounds characterized by a continuous airflow through a narrow channel in the vocal tract, resulting in a turbulent noise. Fricatives are produced by bringing two articulators close together to create a narrow passage through which the airstream flows. The airflow is turbulent, resulting in audible friction. Common articulators involved in fricative production include the upper teeth, as in these sounds, the, as in these sounds, the lower lip and upper teeth, as in these sounds, and the tongue, as in these sounds. Voicing. Fricatives can be either voiced or voiceless. Voiced fricatives involve vocal fold vibration, while voiceless fricatives do not. For example, the last sound in the word, love, is a voiced fricative, and the first sound in the word, fat, is a voiceless fricative. Voiceless fricative. More examples. Some common fricative sounds in English are found in the words, snake, zebra, fish, and voice. Another pair of fricatives is in the words, think in this. Affricates are a combination of a stop consonant and a fricative, where the stop closure is released into a fricative sound. Affricates begin with a complete closure of the articulators, creating a stop consonant-like obstruction. This closure is then released into a fricative sound. The release results in a transition from a plosive-like stop to a fricative-like sound. For example, the affricate in the word chair, the tongue makes tongue makes a complete closure at the alveolar ridge and then releases into a fricative sound. Voicing. Affricates can also be voiced or voiceless, depending on whether the fricative portion is voiced or voiceless. For instance, the first sound in the word judge is a voiced affricate, while the first sound in the word chair is voiceless. Affricates can be either voiced or voiceless. The voicing agreement between the stop portion and the fricative portion is an important criterion. If the stop closure is voiced, the fricative portion should also be voiced, and if the stop closure is voiceless, the fricative portion should also be voiceless. More examples. English examples of affricates are found in the words chair, teach, jar, and judge. Other languages may have different affricate sounds, such as the word zan in German and the word zn in Polish. Labiodental fricatives are a class of consonant sounds that are produced by bringing the lower lip into contact with the upper teeth labiodental position to create a narrow passage through which the airflow is released, resulting in a fricative sound. Voiceless labiodental fricative The voiceless labiodental fricative is represented by the symbol F. In this sound, the lower lip is pressed against the upper teeth, creating a narrow gap for the airflow to pass through. The vocal cords do not vibrate during the production of this sound. Voiced labiodental fricative the voiced labiodental fricative is represented by the symbol V. It is similar to the voiceless labiodental fricative, but with the addition of vocal cord vibration. The lower lip is still pressed against the upper teeth, and the airflow passes through the narrow gap, creating a, fric creating a fricative sound with a voiced quality. English examples of labiodental fricatives include voiceless labiodental fricative, as in the words fan, leaf, and coffee. Voiced labiodental fricative, as in the word, vine, love, and over. Dental fricatives are a class of consonant sounds that are produced by placing the tip of the tongue against the upper front teeth, dental position, to create a narrow passage through which the airflow is released, resulting in a fricative sound. Voiceless dental fricative. The voiceless dental fricative is represented by this symbol. In this sound, the tip of the tongue is placed between the upper and lower front teeth, creating a narrow gap for the airflow to pass through. The vocal cords do not vibrate during the production of this sound. Voiced dental fricative The voiced dental fricative is represented by this symbol. It is similar to the voiceless dental fricative, but with the addition of vocal cord vibration.
The tip of the tongue is still placed between the upper and lower front teeth, and the airflow passes through the narrow gap, creating a fricative, creating a fricative sound with a voiced quality. More English examples of dental fricatives include voiceless dental fricatives, which are found in words like think, thought, and bath. Voice dental fricatives are found in words like this, that, and feather. Alveolar fricatives are a class of consonant sounds that are produced by bringing the tip or blade of the tongue into contact with the alveolar ridge, which is the bony ridge just behind the upper front teeth. This contact creates a narrow passage through which the airflow is released, resulting in a fricative sound. Voiceless alveolar fricative. The voiceless alveolar fricative is represented by this symbol. In this sound, the tip or blade of the tongue is brought into contact with the alveolar ridge, creating a narrow gap for the airflow to pass through. The vocal cords do not vibrate, vibrate during the production of this sound. Voiceless alveolar fricative. The voiceless alveolar fricative is represented by this symbol. In this sound, the tip or blade of the tongue is brought into contact with the alveolar ridge, creating a narrow gap for the airflow to pass through. The vocal cords do not vibrate during the production of this sound. Production of this sound. English examples of alveolar fricatives include voiceless alveolar fricative, as in the words sit, pass, and fast. And voiced alveolar fricative, as in the words zebra, rays, and haze. Postalveolar fricatives are a class of consonant sounds that are produced by bringing the tongue near or against the area just behind the alveolar ridge, known as the postalveolar region. The exact articulation may vary across speakers and languages, but postalveolar fricatives typically involve a slightly more retracted or elevated tongue or elevated tongue position compared to alveolar fricatives. Voiceless postalveolar fricative. The voiceless postalveolar fricative is represented by this symbol. In this sound, the tongue is raised and placed near or against the postalveolar region, creating a narrow gap for the airflow to pass through. The vocal cords do not vibrate during the production of this sound. Voiced postalveolar fricative. The voiced postalveolar fricative is represented by this symbol. It is similar to the voiceless postalveolar fricative, but with the addition of vocal cord vibration. The tongue is still in a raised or slightly retracted position near the postalveolar region, and the airflow passes through the, through the narrow gap, creating a fricative sound with a voiced quality. English examples of postalveolar fricatives include voiceless postalveolar fricative, as in the words ship, cash, and nation and voiced postalveolar fricative, as in the words measure, pleasure, and vision. However, the sounds in the last three words is not very common. Not very common. It is usually found in medial positions. The glottal fricative, ha, is a consonant sound that is produced by a partial closure of the vocal cords in the glottis, the space between the vocal folds in the larynx. This closure creates a narrow passage through which the airflow is released, resulting in a fricative sound. The glottal fricative is always voiceless, meaning that the vocal cords do not vibrate during its production. The sound is generated solely by the turbulence of the airflow passing through the narrow opening in the glottis. Unlike most other consonant sounds, the glottal fricative does not have a specific place of articulation involving contact between the tongue or other articulators. Instead, it is produced by the vocal cords themselves in the glottis. English examples of the glottal fricative ha include words like hat, house, and help. The glottal fricative can appear at the beginning of a word, as in hello, or between vowels, as in behind. It does not appear in a final position in English. In certain dialects of English, the sound wa in wh questions may have a distinct quality. It merges with the ha sound, resulting in the sound ha plus wa, the voiceless counterpart of wa. As a result, in these dialects, words like what, when, and where are pronounced with ha plus wa. This sound is this sound is not a different phoneme. When the sound ha is followed by the sound ya, as in the words humid, 
and huge. A process called palatalization occurs. The ha sound becomes palatalized when followed by a ya, resulting in a sound that is similar to the palatal fricative hue. This is the next chapter. Go there when in the mood. And if you have an interest in phonetics and phonology, consider subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content.